you. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, there is a, an applause button on this thing, but I'm always too <laughs> too slow to find this. Yeah, there it is. Uh, <laughs> good to see that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very good. Really nice playing. Thank you. Um, yeah, you do it very well. Uh, you play, you're a very expressive player and uh, you have lots of, uh, you have lots of colors, you have lots of uh, dynamics, you have lots of agogics and uh, the sound, as much as I can hear <laughs> over, <laughs> over uh, this is, is quite nice as well. Um, what is that guitar you're using? I'm playing a Vicente Carrillo. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks good. <laughs> Looks nice. Sounds nice. Also, it's a very, um, it's very clear sound, and and it's very uh, also warm, yeah. and uh, yeah, very nice. Thank very you. nice. And you take uh, you take really good care of the of the sound. Uh, you you also. Uh, your phrases are really nicely thought through and uh, yeah very nice so now let's just uh, have a little look at a few things okay okay um so so just uh, one thing right right at the beginning when you have the um See where you have um, always when you have this kind of uh, Siciliana figure, right? Uh -huh. um, you know, it it always gives it something really nice and elegant. But but if you if you execute it in a way that um, that you you don't accent the short note, but but rather always the 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 first one, right? The the longer one, the dotted one. So it's more like. <laughs> Somewhere like, and and I think it's probably um, it's probably not not intentional um, that you do put a little accent there because you know you see if you put a little accent on, then you kind of break up uh, this this very small phrase, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it's just to be a little bit more aware of that, and then also later on when you come. So on, right? Uh -huh. um, would you like to try something like this? Yeah. I think you 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 have quite a quite a good and and, and stable pulse here, you know, and and you are uh, you're really precise. And uh, uh, what happens is uh, when when you get to the bar eleven, um, where you have the. Right, uh, there is there is a slight hurrying up there. There, it, so but it sounds it sounds like it's it's a little bit rushed there. Um, 
So, but you know, I I can't also really now say hundred percent because it, in many other places there was uh, uh, because of the connection. You know, I could hear sudden, I could hear uh, nothing, and then eight notes all of a sudden, right? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this part here it was very fast uh, all of a sudden, but. Uh, I think here it's it's probably not that I think I think in the eleventh you probably did rush a little bit. Okay. Um, I can maybe also try playing from the seventh. Yeah, from the seventh would be great. the same it's the same uh, although now we had a slight uh, slight problem in the 10 with the connection but uh, the 11 is little slightly faster than the 7 you can just um, I mean you know when you when you practice I, I also very often use metronome you know because there are some things that are just uh, that you don't realize you know if you don't listen to yourself Yeah, very nice. Uh, you play this very nicely, and uh, it is a very nice piece. It's a beautiful piece. I really like this. Yes, I picked it uh, with my professor. You know, we were searching for some contemporary sonata, and um, this this was a fun little project that we we have done. And I'm really, really like really like this piece. Yeah, especially the second movement. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. I I um, I have to say I didn't I didn't know it either. Um, how are the other movements? Uh, the other movements are so uh, the, we have the first one, which is a scherzo, which is a very, how should I say, more like articulate and a lot of uh, poly polymetry and uh, you know, a uh, little bit you know, experimental. While you have on the third movement, it's uh, very very similar to Jose's uh, fourth movement, final mm -hmm. uh, from uh, his sonata, yes. So it's a very uh, kind of uh, how should I say fresh, fresh repertoire since it's contemporary. It's not a lot of uh, the second movement is a little bit challenging to read because uh, there are a lot of you know um, uh, a lot of uh, you know with an, playing with the notes and the yes. tuning. Yes. Yeah, the G G uh, uh, G sharp minor is yes. it's not very usual tonality, <laughs> right? Yes, yes, it's totally but, not uh, common. Yeah, <laughs> but I find it really nice and very very interesting. You know how uh, it on guitar it always when we have these kind of tonalities it it sounds sounds really uh, really unusual and uh, but I find it really really great how he also. Uh, how he still makes it quite idiomatic in a way, right? This yes, yes, I agree. I agree. Writing this, using so so many of these open open strings as well, right? In in yes, 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 nice. definitely. I like this how how with uh, we have these lines that are go going one over another. You know, it's kind of uh, this echo sound. Uh, in moments, uh, reminds me a little bit of uh, maybe Brower or something like that, with mm -hmm, his. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, quite quite interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's uh, yeah. I think it's 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 definitely. Uh, um, it reminds me a little bit of of the of those of some places in the three forest paintings as well. Oh yes, of course, right. of course. Of his also piece. Uh, yes, it's very uh, specific language. So um, okay. Um, very nice. So, so, so we have this andante misteriosa. I think that's also um, it's it's very fitting. This this G uh, G sharp minor uh, yes. to this andante misteriosa. I think that's probably why 
uh, I really like how you did it uh, with with a nice slow vibrato, um, and I think this is this is how you want to also bring this misterioso character, right? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, uh, with uh, with sticking to this pasacalia kind kind of uh, pattern, you know, which yes, you, yes. yes. Um, Okay, so 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 talking about this vibrato, I I found it uh, actually I find it really good idea to to use the the slow vibrato for this. Um, I would just uh, be a little bit careful. Uh, so so in a way uh, where where it's um, uh, so sometimes it sounds uh, how shall I put it uh, where you where you get to to the top note uh, where you get to that D sharp for example, it sounds. A uh, little bit, little bit Hawaiiana, right? Um, oh. uh, this, this this vibrato. So so, uh, I think mysterious and slow is fine, but maybe not uh, maybe not too much, or maybe not over the top, just just on one note.